I declare God's dream for my life is coming to pass. It will not be stopped by people, disappointments or adversities. God has solutions to every problem I will ever face already lined up. The right people and the right breaks are in my future. This is my declaration. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Deliberate, where great faith and real life meet. My name is Dennis Ngango, and in today's video, I'm going to be unpacking day 10 of the current devotion we're doing together called Hearing the Voice of God. If at any moment you enjoy this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also feel free to click the subscribe button below. Without further ado, let's go! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, initially I really battled to see the correlation between today's devotion and everything else that we had been learning over the past couple of days. Luckily, I spoke to my sister about it and she was able to help me connect the dots. Often, and this can be consciously or subconsciously, we limit ourselves from hearing from God because we want to experience Him or hear Him in a certain way. That's why it's important for us to be open to God and be open to his vision for our lives. Have you ever tried to give advice to someone who is stubborn, self-righteous or hard-headed? In the back of your mind, you know that the advice that you're giving them is going in one ear and then out the other. They've already decided that they're going to learn and experience everything on their own. Even though the wisdom that you tried to share with them could have saved them from further anguish, confusion, and even sometimes pain. We tend to avoid those type of relationships or even those type of people because we know that we really can't even get through to them. Similarly, as believers, we tend to be those type of people in our relationship with God. We make plans and then we sometimes consult him just to confirm what we've already decided. We don't seek his wisdom, nor do we allow him to direct our lives, which we know is beneficial for us in the long run. We see this in Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 10, where it says, Trust in the Lord completely and do not rely on your own opinions. With all your heart, rely on him to guide you and he will lead you in every decision you make. Become intimate with him in whatever you do and he will lead you wherever you go. Don't think for a moment that you know it all, for wisdom comes when you adore him with undivided devotion and avoid everything that's wrong. Then you will find the healing refreshment your body and spirit long for. Glorify God with all your wealth, honoring him with your very best, with every increase that comes to you. Then every dimension of your life will overflow with blessings from an uncontainable source of inner joy. Most of us, myself included, battle to trust God and be open to his plan. That's where today's devotion actually comes in, where Pastor Rick Warren gives advice and shares two things that we can do to open our eyes to his vision. The first piece of advice that he gives is that he encourages us to ask God questions directly. He then loops in James 1 verse 5, which says, If any of you need wisdom, you should ask God and it will be given to you. God is generous and won't correct you for asking. Don't be afraid to ask God big questions because as the word shows, he gives wisdom freely and without judgment. Questions, for example, am I on the right path? Should I take this opportunity? Is this person supposed to be my partner? We can literally ask God any question. However, I do encourage you that when you do ask questions to stay expectant and to stay woke. Reason being, in the moments where we feel like God is not answering us directly, trust me, he is definitely dropping clues. The second piece of advice we're given encourages us to look into God's word to see what he wants to say to us. There has been many times in my life where God's word was my driving force and my anchor. In the moments where I was confused about my path and there were so many ideas and thoughts that were rolling in my head, the word was the one solid place where I would be encouraged, uplifted and given some direction. I love these two pieces of advice because they quickly direct us back to our source. 
Ladies and gentlemen, those are my thoughts and experiences with regards to today's devotion. I'd really love to hear how you experienced day 10 of the devotion, as well as one of the things that has helped you trust and be open to God's plan. My name is Dennis Ngango, and if you like this video, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want more content like this, make sure to click the subscribe button below. I'll see you in tomorrow's video that marks the end of this very exciting and thought-provoking journey.